I am 100% dedicated to showing you guys this journey and this is how I'm gonna do it. So if you haven't already, be sure to follow all the social medias, the link is down below. Turn on notifications for this channel itself so that you don't miss any content whatsoever. Smash that like button and get excited because the real journey starts now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you on the next one. Peace. It has definitely been a long time. What is up my dudes? It's Pac-Man here. And uh, it's been 14 months since I last posted a video. That is, uh, <clears throat> that's even crazy to just say out loud, to be honest. Um, first of all, for this first couple of minutes of this video, I didn't want to edit. I don't want to edit it and kind of crop it together and clip it together um, because I want it to be real and honest and want it to be a conversation and me basically to just explain to you guys um, the reasons as to why I stopped posting to YouTube and I stopped streaming on Twitch. So I guess uh, with that being said, the first thing I want to do is just squash a few of these rumors that have been going around. Uh, I'm not dead, clearly. Uh, I'm not in prison. I didn't go to prison and I didn't get caught hacking. Um, the, the actual reason that I haven't been posting and I uh, decided to quit um, is a lot more, you call it realistic than that. All right. And I guess that's, uh, that's what we should just jump straight into. Where the fuck uh, did I go and where have I been? What have I been doing? Um, so for that question, I guess we have to go back to December 20th, the day I post that video, or really the day after. Um, I don't know. I wish I could kind of give you guys uh, uh, something real or something like, you know, a definitive reason as to why it was that um, I just stopped posting and stopped streaming. Um, I wish I could just tell you that something happened, some, some tragedy happened or... You know, some big life event happened to me that caused me to stop or, you know, something like that. But the, the honest um, answer is nothing happened. Nothing like that happened. Um, and that's not why I went away. I went away um, really out of nowhere. Like I woke up one morning and that was it. I just I was having a coffee with my girlfriend and um, we were sitting there. And we weren't really talking about much. And I basically just looked up and said, I'm done like I, I can't I can't do this anymore um why that happened is is different because you know I was doing I, I was doing a lot of work for the channel and for uh for you know trying to hit pro league in such a short period of time like I was playing um 10 hours a day pretty comfortably then I was and that was live most of it or let's say I was streaming for six hours and then I would go and scrim for three hours plus um, after that off stream um, only then to kind of come back and start working on the business itself so you know trying to actually grow um, and trying to work on more content for the YouTube channel and the Instagram and just just everything like I was I was putting a lot of a lot of time and a lot of energy into the channel and I did that because I really enjoyed it and I, I still do like enjoy even making this as daunting as it was for me um to, to get behind the camera and start talking like it just feels good right now like i can I enjoy it um but i think it was just it was just all of it it was just the, the just 14 hours a day every day for six months straight i wasn't i wasn't looking after my health i dropped a lot of weight um you know, I was uh, being inside that much. I wasn't working out and I wasn't doing, I was basically just sleeping in that bed right there. You can't see it on the screen, but my bed is right there. I was, I was basically passing out there um, at you know, 12 o'clock, 1 a.m., waking up at 10 a.m. Um, and streaming by 10.30, 11, or gaming by 10.30, 11. So it was just constant. It was, never, it was non-stop. Um, so... Yeah, it was just, I think I just got burnt and um, it was just an instant um, a decision I just had to make for myself at that time. That was what felt right and it's not it's something I regret because I, I, I think we were really just scratching the surface with what the channel was becoming and where I was going as a professional and, um, you know, and we left it at a, at a pivotal point. But in the end of the day, it's something that had to be done at the time. It was something that I had to do for myself and for my relationships and... Um, yeah, it happened. So all we can do is really blinkers on, move forward and, and get on with it. I also just want to mention that throughout this last year, 
for 14 months, I have been looking at all of the comments. Um, I've been <laughs> keeping an eye on the Discord. You guys are still talking in there. And, um, you know, all the response uh, to, to my videos. I, I, I'm getting more views on my videos now than I was when I stopped posting a year and 14 months ago. So my videos have just been taken by the algorithm. And, yeah, it's, 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 it's super nice to see. I'm sorry that I didn't reply to anyone or that I didn't tell you guys why I didn't um, stream and or tell you why I just went away I just I planned to but days went on every time I went to do it I'd put something else in front of it and just try and almost avoid it and avoid coming to terms with the fact that I'd quit you know that's what I'd really done so um because back then I, I messaged I messaged my uh, my teammates and I quit and that was it I said I can't come back and um, that was the, the night after scrims and the scrims were going good you know so um so it is what it is but <clears throat> i did see all your messages i want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for um staying true and and you know looking for me and trying to see if i was all right and you know just just keeping that community alive and and uh keeping engaged with the with, with my channel and stuff so from the bottom of my heart thank you i really do appreciate it okay now that's out of the way um i thought i'd give you a bit of bit of gameplay uh, to look at here while while I'm talking, so you don't have to look at my big head the entire um, 10 minutes or however long this video ends up being. Um, so yeah, but I have only been playing again for about a week, so please don't be too harsh. Um, I did play, you know, occasional games throughout the year, but you know, mainly it would just be like once every I don't know, two or three weeks. I'd just hop on, smash out like three or four hours of games with like some of my friends from um, you know in person. And, uh, and stuff, so I really haven't been playing at all. So I've been playing pretty consistently for the last like weekish. So yeah, just say I don't judge too harshly. Okay, first things first, before we go any further into the video, um, I just want to take a, a few moments to congratulate a couple of people that um, deserve congratulating. Um, so firstly, we'll go with Yashi, Leb, um, Unit, and all of the Team Kanga, all of Team Kanga. They, they qualified for Pro League. They're currently playing in Australian Pro League. Um, and you know they're killing it. They're they're not doing so well on the ladder, um, but they were the only team to take points off Fnatic this season. And I don't know if any of you guys keep up with the the Siege Invitational. Fnatic went on a little bit of a run just then, so uh, it's that's a big achievement in itself. And they also took a it took a whole map, took a victory against um, Wildcard GG, uh, who were formerly Atletico from back in the day. So super strong teams, and uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of big things coming for these lads in the future. So uh, I'll uh, have some links in the description for. For their channels but yashi lev unit and uh, everyone else that's part of team kanga massive congratulations keep on keep on smashing it boys but secondly i just want to take a minute to congratulate uh norton so norton is one of the homies some of you guys might uh remember him from the channel played with him for a long time throughout my siege uh, career as you'd call it um yeah norton and his team actually managed to qualify for challengers league um so they didn't quite crack pro league when they did but you know, in the end of the day, it's a massive achievement to be in that kind of top echelon of, of competitors within the APAC region. Um, so, congratulations, my mans. We fucking we made it. At least one of us made it. Aside from Yoshi, um, Norton, and all of Team Kanga, there's a bunch of um, other people that I used to play with. Um, you guys probably wouldn't know as well, but um, I used to play with them all the time. I play against them all the time. People like uh, Juicy, for one, Stiggs, and uh, the former control team. Um, and a bunch of others, there's so many, but a load of them are playing in uh, Pro League at the moment, so congratulations to all you boys too. Proudy. Okay, so um, what's next? I guess that's uh, that's probably the next thing to talk about. And uh, I'm, it's a bit of a tricky one, so I'm going to have to split it into kind of two sections. I'm going to have to split it excuse me, one way into um, what's coming over the next month, month and a half, um, and then post that, what's going to happen for the next six months, what's going to happen for the future of the channel. Um, so for the next month or so, uh, we've got a we've got a LAN event in 30 days, about 30 days, um, called RF LAN. It's a uh, just basically a big community event where six or seven hundred people go down to a to a LAN center. Um, they they run tournaments, prizes, and uh, stuff like that for a couple of different games. And Rainbow Six Siege is one of the games that they have a major tournament for. Um, so me and some of my friends that I've been friends with for a long time that actually started playing Siege with first, uh, we're gonna go down there and give it a crack. We're not the best, um, but we, we'll, we'll give it a crack. It should be fun. 
Uh, I'm going to do a good big vlog video that day as well and mix it all in. Hopefully you can get some cool content from it. Um, and hopefully I'll be streaming it as well if, uh, if all goes to plan. So that's what's coming up for the next month. I'm not actually too sure what sort of content I'm going to be able to bring out um, revolving it. I'd love to start bringing out tutorials again and start showing you kind of more clips on improvement and stuff. But it's been a while since I've been playing. I'm a little bit behind the behind the pace. So, you know, cause back back then, I, like I felt like I was playing diamonds all the time. Uh, I know there's champion now and stuff, but back then anyway, I was playing against diamonds and I was scrimming against um, teams that are in pro league. I was playing with guys that are now in pro league. Um, so we were, I was better. I was definitely a lot better and I knew a lot more. Um, so uh, now I'm playing around plat three at the moment on a Smurf account. So I haven't actually launched my Pac-Man account um, since that day, since I got in. Um, so, so yeah, so I'm not sure what the actual content's gonna look like leading up to it, but there definitely will be content and um, and yeah, it's going to be a really fun month, and hopefully we can get the W. Uh, but what about after RF LAN? What about after this uh, this LAN event that's coming up? Am I going to hop straight back into the challenge? No. Um, that is uh, because of something that actually happened during my time away from, from YouTube. It's something that's been ongoing in the past, but I have a very dodgy shoulder. My shoulder dislocates pretty frequently. You know, more frequently than than you than you think. Um, it's quite painful and it restricts me from from working out and stuff like that. So I need to get it fixed. I've had surgery on it before, uh, but I'm going back in, uh, go back under the knife, and that should be around April. So that's going to put me out um, of actual actually gaming for six weeks. So it's not that easy to just kind of hop straight back in um, and hop into the challenge, especially considering I've been I've been away for over a year. Um, yeah, so. Don't, don't worry though, like there will be content, if not more content throughout that period of time. It's just not gonna be um, like me directly gaming as much in that sense. It'll be more like tutorial videos and analyzing videos and conversational videos and stuff. There will still be content, but um, yeah, just, just slightly different. So yeah, that kind of that kind of throws a spanner in the works in terms of um, how, how to move the channel forward and what to do. Um, another thing that really throws a spanner into the works for it is Project A. So Project Day, I'm, I'm sure some of, most of you guys will have heard about it and looked into it, but it's a new upcoming um, competitive shooter that's being released from Riot Games, I believe, the same guys that do League of Legends. A lot of, a lot of power behind them, a lot of money behind them, so I think they're going to really go for it in the esports realm, and it could be a huge opportunity, and if I'm honest with you, um, I fucking, I'm excited for it. It looks cool. Yeah. It looks fun. It looks cool. I love the idea that it's coming behind, it's coming from Riot. I love that. You know that that's a that's a big positive um so i think it could be a huge opportunity for all of us so you know if that keeps going in the right direction who knows uh what what i'm going to be playing or what we're all going to be playing in in six months time that's not set in stone but it's something that needs to be considered as well so where the channel moves to i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to take that step by step and just keep posting out the content keep getting the videos up and keep bringing you on this journey even though we're not you know right now we're not quite sure where that journey is going to lead to um, it, it's it's gonna lead somewhere big. I truly, truly feel like we're only scratching the surface here, and there's some there's some sick things that I've got planned that are in the that are in the the pipes, and um, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. So I, I'm considering um, over the next three to six months stepping into some form of coaching role. I think that could be cool. That could be insightful for everybody. Um, some taking over, becoming an assistant coach for a current Australian team. Um, not sure if that's that's definitely um, what I'm gonna do, but it's something that might happen and that I, that I might look into a little bit more. I think there's definitely value I can bring to teams and um, there's value I can bring to you guys from uh, coaching a team. But trust me when I say there is so much things that I have in the pipes. There's so many different cool adventures and cool ideas, cool content coming out. I've got a bunch of different series on the channel just based around Siege that I'm gonna be starting over the next uh, few months. Um, so there's a lot of stuff to be excited for and we're fucking back so look I don't want to ramble on too much and let this video go for too long I think you guys get the gist of, of what I'm what I'm trying to do here um, and uh, I hope you guys accept my apologies that because I didn't I didn't explain to you guys at the time why I had to leave but I hope you also understand why sometimes you just you have to leave and you have to you have to take do something for yourself in that sense so um, yeah back on square but like I said before Fucking let's move on, head forward, and uh, let's kill it. There's a lot of cool shit coming out. Um, I want to have videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, so 
we're back. We're fucking back. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I'm super happy to be, to be making this and to be posting it out again. Um, I'm nervous to see what you guys say, but at the end of the day, that's uh, what, what can you do? So, um, yeah. So be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so that you don't miss any content coming up. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.